Welcome again guys this is Vioinformatics Practical and in the last video we have just talked about using VecScreen to screen out the vector sequence or any vector contamination that is present in your gene sequence and we have done it finally now in this video we will be talking about how to design a primer and actually I'll be making two separate videos of how to design primer one using NCBI tools another one using IDT uh, or different software management th different systems there are different companies out there many companies they are having their own primer designing tool and I uh, will recommend my personal favorite that is IDT designing tools so we'll be using that uh, for designing our primer okay so so now let's let's moving on and let's make it first using uh, using our NCBI so let's find out what NCBI can do NCBI can do in everything what you require for your biotechnology so that's why NCBI is always here National Center for Biotechnology Information and it's really a very good thing so what we can do here is just select for uh, the database you select nucleotide database and because our sequence is nucleotide sequence we need to make primer for that nucleotide sequence and I'm going to put my accession number because I know the accession number if you don't know your accession number you just because it's always a good idea if you once find your sequence just remember the accession number or write it down somewhere and anytime you try to do something just put the accession number in that way you don't need to put all all sequence you don't need to paste that sequence in pasta format or you don't need to uh, repeatedly write that sequence that which is a large thing so just write here uh, our accession number that is NM002234 this is my accession number and click enter it will directly bring me to the page and details of uh, this gene and that is homo sapiens potassium voltage gated channel right so here we go the channel of membrane 5 so it is KCNA5 this is the gene name and the mRNA of the KCNA5 gene right so detailed information is provided now one thing important about the primer designing because these are eukaryotic systems and eukaryotic gene so designing primer for eukaryotes obviously slightly difficult than the prokaryotes because in this case we need to design primers for exon remember because we are not going to uh, elaborately uh, amplify the intron uh, sequences they are not required we only uh, amplify exon region so we need to look for what are the exon sequences that are available here so scroll it down a little bit and what we can find here we can find here comes from the gene and this is the exon so this is the exon number one it presents from one to two eight seven zero here comes the first exon so this is the first exon here now look for second exon uh, the second exon whether it is an exon is there or not let's find it out let's call it down so so only one exon anyway so only one exon is there so don't need to bother about much here because only one exon is there so fine we need to amplify that exon here that is that is present here from 1 to 2870 so this is pretty large exon and we need to amplify this region right and this is the coding sequence similarity okay so let's begin so let's begin how to do this because once you get this particular thing in in the right hand side there are plenty of things run blast peak primers highlight sequence features find it in the sequence so many things are there in this case specially we'll be clicking on the peak primers so just click on peak primers it will redirect us to the page for designing the primer now here we come with the peak primer page and here you can see automatically the number the accession number is selected you can implant your FASTA sequence here or GI here whatever you can put it now here also you can browse your sequence many many uh, way of uploading the sequence is there not important but important thing is there you can range your primer so you can just put the number uh, of your primer from where you are exa exactly putting the primers that's very very important so let's say let's say 200 and forward primer uh, we just put it to to say to say uh, 250 up to this section we need to design the primers and for reverse primer because we remember we have seen the exon number and looking for the exon number it kinds of uh, like so just let let us check it for one more time let's check it one more time what is going on here uh, the actual exon limit 
the exon limit here is what is 122870 so no problem 122870 it was fine so we are fine uh, using that forward primer so click again to pick primers and here we go so from 200 let's say from 20 so let's from 200 to 300 and reverse primer designing let's say let's say from 1000 to to 1200 so if this is the different different parameter you, you may put it you may not put it whatever it, it's depending on your choice because if you put this range they will bring you the primer exactly between this range because uh, obviously all the time when you design primers to amplify some section in our mind we have to amplify a particular stretch of the gene not uh, the all the stretch so it's obviously in your mind if it's required you should put these values otherwise they will put you the primer whatever irrespective of different length wherever the compatibility of primer designing is there right you can put your own primer that that uh, you want to choose for the kind of primer but i don't encourage you to put it here right now that thing is not required for us I, it is required once if you have done this process before once in that case you require this but you don't require it now so the PCR product size is provide minimum 70 maximum 1000 you can change it if you want you don't want this right now now melting temperature is provided minimum 57 optimum 60 maximum 63 so everything is kind of default in all these cases and if you don't know anything again it's a safe site or not fiddling around the values and the exon junction span you can put any preference there the primer must span an exon exon junction primer may not span an exon exon jun junction so it, it may depend depend upon your preference i don't have exactly any preference here because this is having the exon site and i put the value exactly in the exon site so obviously it is going to span the exon so don't need to bother about that right now primer pair must be separated by at least one intron and corresponding genomic dna so these things are required depending upon different research you are considering I don't require these things because it's just a tutorial to show you. I'm not going to do any primer production you exactly for the experiment right now. But uh, for the experiment design, if you're really experiment designing an experiment and doing for that, you need to be doing it more carefully than I'm doing right now. So exactly uh, put everything that is required here and everything I just keep it into default mode and show results in different window. Obviously it's required and graphical representation, I just love it. So I'll keep it and then I just hit get primers and it will redirect me to the next page and I let, let me tell you something in this process it requires some time some time means a quite a time that means uh, two minutes one minute so depends upon the huge ton of work that is going on in NCBI because NCBI is a site where uh, where millions of uh, informations are processing every minute so it will require definitely some time to give you back the results so just wait for some time while it provides you the results and once everything will be done will be coming back so let's let's uh, pause it back for some time here and then we'll and here we go we got the results now so it kind of re take took uh, two minutes kind of one one and a half to two minutes to give you the results so here we go the result is here and so what they're telling the specificity of the primers the primers may not be specific to the input prime pcr template as targets were found in selected database so that's that's the kind of uh, warning that you can take or just just discard it for right now so just look at the primer so here we see the template the template dna in this orientation and here we see the primer so this is the template dna this is your primer remember we select primer particular stretch and distance and it will provide us five primers now you can select the number of primers that you want right so so as you can see here number of primers you in return five was in default so you get five primers if you increase this number you will get more more primers here so here we come five primers exactly the the region spanning that we've taken in these cases and here is the primer pair and along with the primer they are telling us the detailed information primer number primer pair number one primer pair number two so you can see many different primer pairs and their number right so and also not only that but also predictions of how one primer is going to pair with another exact exact spanning region so here we see 
the primer and the length is 19 uh, 90 right so plus primer is 90 minus primer is 20 and the GC content is 63 here uh, bottom one is 60 and the self complementarity is 7 uh, ra rating is 4 so everything is kind of provided every information is kind of provided now if you think that it is fine for your experiment it is what it required for your experiment you just take it you just take it and then go for your experiment you just order this primer in any any primer designing uh, company you just tell them that this is the primer that I I want uh, I want and just put it right so here you can see product on interested target you can see homo sapiens potassium voltage gated channel member target is also given the product length 778 so here it is okay so you can click on here the primer 2 it will bring you to the primer primer 2 here primer 3 you zoom on to the primer 3 here like that okay so so you can just select different primers and where these primers are going to actually pair so so here we go here we go primer pair number 2 in this pair also you can see so all of these pairs depending upon your need you need to select the pair you want to work with right so once you select it it, it is also showing you how the primers are going to bind uh, with your sequence right so by kind of looking at it and telling so five different pairs are selected and according to your choice you can you can catch them or you can get them right and that primer should be good for you and you can go for it right so this is this is kind of it and you can get more information if you want and it's not that much difficult you just you just do some simple number and values and everything is done by NCBI so that's how you can uh, design primers using NCBI without uh, getting any any other softwares for primer designing so that's it guys and I hope that's helpful thank you